Have you ever noticed how your pet uses its body to communicate its feelings? Let's delve into the fascinating world of pet body language, a realm where every wag, twitch and posture holds a wealth of information. Take dogs for instance. These loyal companions use their body and facial expressions to express a myriad of emotions. A dog with a relaxed wagging tail is a happy one, brimming with joy and contentment. On the flip side, a tucked tail often signals fear or anxiety, revealing a side of your pet that's feeling vulnerable. And don't forget those ears. A dog's ears are like emotional antennas. Ears standing tall and alert signify curiosity and interest, while flattened ears can suggest feelings of aggression or, or submission. Now, let's turn our attention to our feline friends. Cats communicate in a more subtle and nuanced way. Their tail position, for example, can say volumes about their state of mind. A tail held high speaks of confidence and friendliness, while a puffed up tail can signal fear or aggression. And there's more to a cat's eyes than just their hypnotic allure. Did you know that a cat's eyes dilate when they're excited or scared? And those twitching or flat ears are not just random movements, they're reflections of your cat's mood. But as we know, communication isn't just about the sender, it's also about the receiver. And that's where you come in. By observing, understanding, and responding to these body language cues, you can deepen your bond with your pet. Remember, it's not just about decoding these signals, but also about responding appropriately. If your dog's tail is tucked under, offer comfort. If your cat's tail is puffed up, give them some space. Recognizing and respecting your pet's body language can lead to a more fulfilling relationship where both you and your pet feel understood and valued. So, next time you're with your pet, take a moment to observe their body language. It's their way of talking to you, their way of sharing their feelings, their joys, their fears. Just like humans, pets use body language to express a wide range of emotions. And by understanding this language, you're not just a pet owner, but a confidant, a friend, a part of their world. Beyond body language, your pet has a unique voice that conveys a myriad of emotions and needs. Just as we use words and tones to communicate, animals too have their own unique vocalizations that serve as a window into their emotions and needs. Let's start with our canine companions. Dogs use a variety of vocalizations, including barking, whining, growling, and howling. Each of these sounds communicates a different emotion or need. A playful bark, accompanied by a wagging tail, often signals excitement and joy. Whining, on the other hand, can be a sign of stress, discomfort, or a plea for attention. Growling isn't always a sign of aggression. It can also indicate fear or discomfort. And a dog's howl? Well, it's their way of communicating over long distances and sometimes just for the sheer joy of it. Cats, on the other hand, have a more nuanced vocal repertoire. They meow, purr, hiss, and yowl, each sound carrying a distinct message. A cat's meow is often a way to get your attention, whether they're hungry, seeking affection, or simply saying hello. Purring, a sound unique to felines, typically signals contentment and relaxation. But be aware, cats also purr when they're stressed or unwell, as a way to comfort themselves. Hissing is a clear sign of fear or aggression, often used when they feel threatened. And that loud prolonged yowl, it can signify distress, annoyance, or even be a mating call. However, understanding your pet's vocalizations isn't just about knowing what each sound means. 
It's also about understanding the context in which these sounds are made. A dog's excited bark when you come home is a joyful greeting. But the same bark at night could indicate alarm. Similarly, a cat's purr during a cuddle session might mean contentment, but if they're purring while hiding under the bed, it could be a sign of stress or fear. So, next time you hear your pet making a sound, take a moment to observe the situation. What's happening around them? How are they behaving? By considering the contexts, you'll be better equipped to understand what they're trying to tell you. Understanding the context of these vocalizations is key to deciphering their meaning. So let's continue to listen, observe, and learn from our furry friends. After all, they have a lot to say if we're willing to listen. Did you know that your pet uses scent as a powerful form of communication? Yes, that's right. Beyond the wagging tails, purrs and barks, your furry friend has an entirely different language based on scent. Let's dive into it. Dogs, for instance, have an extraordinary sense of smell, far superior to ours. They use this to their advantage, communicating through scent marking. This isn't just about making their mark, it's a complex language within itself. Dogs establish their territory and interact with other animals by leaving their scent behind. They do this by urinating or defecating in specific areas. It's their way of saying, hey, this is my space and I've been here. But that's not all. Dogs also rub against furniture or other objects to deposit their pheromones, invisible chemical signals that convey various messages to other dogs. On the other paw, cats have their unique way of scent marking. It's not uncommon to see a cat rubbing its cheeks against objects. This adorable behavior is actually a form of communication. Cheek rubbing allows cats to deposit pheromones, marking their territory and creating a familiar scent environment. And yes, cats also use urine, spraying as a form of scent marking, but this is usually a last resort when they feel their territory is threatened. So, the next time you see your pet doing these behaviors, remember that they're just talking in their secret scent language. Understanding this can help you better relate to your pet and appreciate their complex world. Scent is a vital part of your pet's secret language. Communication with your pet isn't a one-way street. They're also picking up on your cues. This is where your role in pet communication comes into play. Our furry friends are surprisingly adept at reading our body language and emotions, forming a feedback loop that significantly influences their behavior. Dogs, being social creatures, are particularly attuned to their human companions. They're like little detectives, always on the lookout for clues about our emotional state. Watch your dog the next time you're feeling down. Chances are they'll curl up next to you, offering comfort in their own special way. This is because they're picking up on your body posture, facial expressions, and even the tone of your voice. Cats, though known for their independence, are not as aloof as they sometimes seem. They too can pick up on subtle cues from their owners. Ever noticed how your cat seems to know when it's the perfect time to jump on your lap for a cuddle? That's no coincidence. Even the slightest changes in your routine or demeanor can tip them off. However, this communication isn't just about making your pet happy. It's about creating a harmonious living environment. By understanding how your behavior impacts your pet, you can adjust your actions to better suit their needs, reducing stress and potential behavior issues. Remember, every pet is unique, so it's important to observe and understand their specific reactions to your behavior. With patience and empathy, 
you can decode your pet's secret language, deepening the bond between you. By understanding your pet's secret language, you can strengthen your bond and create a more fulfilling relationship.